Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be discussing Excel web forms. Uh, what are Excel web forms? Well, you are aware what web forms are. Sometimes you need a form on the go and you kind of need to do it snappy and quickly. And uh, you don't want to sit through coding and all this stuff. And it's actual really good way of just getting yourself a web form that writes directly to a database. Um, and in this case, we're going to be using SkyDrive's Excel as our database, and I'm going to show you how to create that Excel web form. Um, it is a really beautiful web form, your own custom fields, uh, and information gets recorded directly into SkyDrive. So, let's begin. Uh, I'm going to go on and open up Internet Explorer. I'm going to log into my SkyDrive account. And once I'm in SkyDrive, again, SkyDrive is free. Uh, sign up. You get uh, free 7 gigs of space. It's beautiful. Uh, let me just log in here real quick. Okay. And now that I'm logged into my SkyDrive account, now I'm going to have access to uh, a lot of Office web apps. Uh, and this is free for everybody. It's a really, really cool thing. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the Create button. Uh, and I'm going to go and select Excel Survey. You'll see down here the very last choice as Excel Survey. Now we could create Word documents, Excel workbooks, PowerPoint presentations. This is all web powered through these web apps, uh, by the way. But in order for us to make our quick form, we're going to go into the Excel Survey and we're going to create a brand new, uh, what they call a survey, it's really a form, and we're going to call it uh, YouTube Form, for example. You can give it a name, any name you'd like. So it's creating the form for us right now. Uh, and you're going to see right now what's going to happen is Excel will pop in the background. There you go. And then now we're going to have our form designer. And this is where we get to design our form. And we get to ask questions from people. Uh, whatever it is that, that is required, this is a really nice, uh, beautiful uh, displayed form. So let's put in a title in here. Uh, let's say it's a contact us form, right? Let's say it's a contact me, rather. All right, contact me. And I'm going to say enter your information below and someone or and I will shortly contact you back, period. And our first question is going to be, and you see when we click on a field, it's going to right away give us the field settings. And the field settings, we're going to be able to modify a couple of things. First, we're going to be able to put in what the question is. We can add a question subtitle, which is not something we're going to be using. You're not going to see this in so many forms. Um, we're going to have a response type, which means that this is either going to be a text box, a paragraph, a number, a date, a time, a yes or no, or a pick list. Uh, and then we're going to have whether we want the field to be required. And we have a default answer that we can pre-fill in that field, which we're not going to be using in this uh, example. So the question is going to be first, what is your name? And we're going to make that a required field. And we're going to hit done, and we're going to click on add new question. Next question is going to be, what is your email? And we're going to say the response type will be text. We'll make it required, and we'll make that done. Next thing we're going to do is add another question, and let's make this question, how did you hear about me? And I'm going to change the response type now to a choice. And in choices, I'm going to say um, YouTube, Google, Yahoo, or Bing. And I'm going to make this not required. I'm going to click on Done. I'm going to add another question in here. Let's just add one more. Um, let's say, uh, do you like me? Do you like my videos, rather? And I'm going to make this a yes-no question. And I'm going to make that one required. And we'll make the default answer yes. Uh, <laughs> and we'll make that done. And we're going to add one more last thing. We're going to add a um, um, description and comments. And we're going to make this a paragraph uh, text. You'll see it right away expands it, so you can enter multiple lines. I'm going to click on Done. And I think my form is complete, right? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Save and View. And I'm going to take a look at what my form looks like. And it's now generating a preview. And here is my form where I have my name, my email. How did you hear about me is now a pick list choice option. I have a yes or no field in here, whether you like my videos. It's a yes or a no. And we have description and comments. Uh, so now I'm going to click on Share Survey, and I'm going to click on Create a Link. It's going to generate a link. Now this long, ugly link is long and ugly. What I want to do is I want to shorten it. Now you don't want to shorten this link if you're going to use it in your web page, because you're going to call this uh, form from an iframe, because um, you can actually embed this into your web page. 
Uh, but suppose you just want to send it to somebody, you want to send an email to someone, or um, you just want a short link to it. Microsoft actually provided you with a button for shorten, uh, which will make this long link very short. And I'm just going to click this link, copy it, and I'm going to click on done. All right, so now I have here an Excel spreadsheet, and this will update in real time. What I mean by real time is I'm going to open another Internet Explorer instance. I'm going to make this one smaller. As a matter of fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to snap my windows in. I'm going to snap a window into the right and a window into the left. So let's snap this window here, and let's snap this guy here, and let's paste our web form link up on top. And we're going to see our questions. They're going to pop right in here and waiting for it to load loading loaded and this is all powered by excel you see there's even a branding here now you could play with this code over here you could actually play with this you see there's an action here if i right click this page um, and i ask hey can i view the source to this page as a matter of fact i can just go to view and source um, if i do that it's going to give me the ability to basically up oh, where is source here we go. If I click and view the source of this page, I'm going to see the code to this. So if you're a developer or you make website and whatnot, you can actually manipulate this code. You can actually add it to your page and play with this idea and remove the branding and all that good stuff. But I'm, I'm not even going to get into that. It's not really what I want to show you guys. What I want to show you is that how you can create a quick and easy form. You can implement this in so many things. So I'm going to add my name in here. My name is Elon. My email is Elon at Danger studio.com uh, I heard about myself on YouTube and do I like my videos yes I do and I'm gonna say great video keep them coming subscribe to my channel thank you and a bunch of exclamations and I'm gonna cl click the uh, submit button now once I click the submit button what's gonna happen is it's going to push it you saw it just happened. It happened so fast. <laughs> it actually pushed the data immediately to this spreadsheet, to this database. So our user is going to get a thank you response. And our Excel web app, and let me make this window bigger, um, what it just happened with it is it retained all the data here. So I can go and expand this, and uh, you could see everything in here. So here is the response to uh, my form. I get the name, the email, how did you hear about me, do you like my videos, and description and comments. Now, whatever I use this for, um, remember, this is Excel. We're actually using a web version of the real program of Excel. We can sort these items, we can name them, color them, number them. Um, you know, we can uh, uh, put all the people that say, no, you don't like your videos in a simple category, and people that, yes, we love your videos in another category, and email them. So, the possibilities of this are really endless. So this is just a really cool thing uh, that I wanted to show you guys. Um, I just recently had to create a form for something, an unsubscribe form for a mailing list. And uh, I used actually Google Drive to do it. Google offers the same kind of technology, which is pretty cool. Uh, Google Spreadsheets do the same thing as um, SkyDrive uh, Excel surveys or web forms. These are all easy forms. You see, this video is probably under, uh, let me see, how long am I recording it for? Eight minutes, and I'm already done uh, with my form. And I have one, two, three, four, five fields. So you too, you can create these forms and, uh, you know, sporadic in matters of minutes and minutes, and you can create as many forms as you want. They last forever. They take bytes out of 73 gigs that you have with um, SkyDrive. It's very, very good. Um, suppose that I go back now and let me repaste my form. And now I'm going to change this. I'm going to show you the same exact example. I'm going to load this uh, Excel form again, which we just created. Um, and I'm going to put, let's say my name is Michael. My email is uh, michael at films.com. Uh, how did you hear about me on Google? Do you like my videos? Yes. Description look to your right see the live response and i'm going to click submit and immediately look right here to our to our left not our right whoopsie okay <laughs> it's my right um yeah michael films google yes and you see how it fills in it's actually very very cool and this is how we do it um, if you have Microsoft Office installed, you can actually click on the Open in Excel button, and it's going to really open it in Microsoft Excel. Or you have this on the go. You can check it anytime, anywhere, uh, sporadically. Um, and that's what I wanted to show you guys. So this is basically a part of the Office 365 kind of a complete in-the-cloud um, 
SkyDrive uh, integration that you can integrate with your websites and this is how you make the web form so how did I go about doing it well I just simply uh, let me exit out of this form and you're gonna see here that I have a YouTube form that XLX file uh, which is um, an Excel spreadsheet file that is being fed live uh, by a form so that's very cool and here it is right here the survey and how did I go about making it I can just make another one in two seconds by clicking on create and a brand new Excel survey um, this is very very nice uh, uh, tool to have uh, it, it's a very very uh, beautiful thing to be able to make these forms sporadically and on the go um, you know and, and if you hadn't had an idea on how to do it or you thought it would be difficult or it would take long well it doesn't it takes maybe five minutes to create a form it's that nice uh, with an actual database a live database and we can set up alerts to have this email to you uh, and a whole bunch of more cool stuff um, so that's it for this video I just wanted to show you guys how to do it um, you see by entering the survey I can edit it by the way um, right before I was gonna shut the video down I'm gonna show you I can add more new questions I can click on a question and delete it uh, I can modify the text in it you know so we have our required fields in here we have we have everything a regular form should have. We can actually even drag and drop these guys and rearrange our forms. Uh, it's very, very, very beautiful. It's very uh, neatly made. Microsoft made it, did a great job uh, making this very cosmetic. Uh, Google's um, Drive is, is also extremely powerful. Uh, it just doesn't look like this, and it's not really Excel. And you know, I happen to really love Excel. Um, now, when you share this spreadsheet with somebody, also remember, if you watch my other video on SkyDrive, you'll see right now I'm the one person editing this. And if someone else is logged in to their SkyDrive account and they have access to my survey, if I share it with them, you'll see there'll be two people collaborating on the results on this form, which is very, very, very cool. Um, okay, so thank you for watching. Uh, by the way, I want to say thank you. Uh, I've reached over 1 million views. Um, and I want to thank everybody, uh, every single one, every single person who watched this, uh, my videos, and enjoys what I do, and the, the great letters and comments that I receive from people um, about how I've helped them, you know, between getting jobs and preparing for interviews and things of that nature, and just business development. And I'm very thankful and uh, to my viewers and subscribers. Uh, thank you again. And if you're new, feel free to subscribe. Uh, view my channel. I have tons of content there, a lot of videos, a lot of things to learn. And I appreciate your time, and thank you. Bye.